Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create a simple form validations um, using a simple JavaScript and to display a validation message we will use a use this um, sweet alert to display the validation message uh, which will look something like this so if there is uh, so if we have to display the validations and uh, if there is any kind of error of the, or if the field is empty so it will display something like this okay so um let's get started so for the validation we are using sweet alert and for the uh for the form creations in the a little bit styling we are using uh, bootstrap for yeah okay so i'm going to copy this one and paste it over here so let's say Next up, form validations. This one. I'll save this one as all type outside. Okay. Index.html. Yeah, now it looks fine. So if I run this one, hello world. Yeah, so it's working. So the Linux file is working now. Uh, let's rename this title tag with the uh, form validation. Okay. So I'm going to create a form inside the body tag. Form F -O -R -M, form form and. Input type equals to text um, ID being like ID being name and we are not using the label so I'm using the placeholder to denote the type uh, sorry to denote the name of the uh, field mm, name so I'm going to copy this input fill that twice again so this second one the uh, email placeholder email so let's keep it start we will do just with our uh, three fields uh, this one form form placeholder so this will uh, display inside the uh, field input field so we are going to use the button to submit button and the name of the button will say submit cub as well as submit so let's uh, check our form yeah so this is our simple form uh, let's uh, Let's uh, style uh, this form with our uh, bootstrap class. Uh, sorry, so class equals to form form control form control. Okay, let's uh, copy this one. Paste here. So so if I refresh. Okay, now a little bit better but um, but all the uh, fields are attached to each other so let's put in break tag it will uh, provide space beneath the fields so let's uh, freeze again okay so, yeah. so again uh, the form is attached at the top in the submit button so let's uh, give a class uh, to the submit button also class equals to uh, btn btn primary primary green, uh, blue button okay okay now uh, let's uh, uh, let's uh, put uh, let's uh, make this form a little bit 
uh, down because it's uh, because it is at this capital. So that's uh, the first. Sorry, I uh, forgot to close the phone. Let's uh, put inside the container. So it will give a margin in both left and right. And so I'm going to give us as a container. Container in padding from the top. Padding. Top. So then it'll be 100 pixels. So uh, let's refresh. Yeah, so now it looks a little bit better than before. Much more better. So if I click on the button, so so it, it uh, it's uh, doing nothing. Um, since uh, we are using so JavaScript, so that's a uh, button type. B type equals to button. B so type equals to button. So what uh, so what it does is so uh, so if we had to use the type equals something, then the page will reload. So we don't want our page to reload because uh, we will be using um, JavaScript to validate. And after the validation is over, and if everything is okay, then uh, we will uh, pass the data to the server from the JavaScript. Uh, so for that, uh, we need to put a button at the button type equals to button. So if I reload the page and if I click on the submit button, so it, it acts nothing. So so th this is what I wanted. Um, let's make a let's open a script app under uh, this one, the streaming and JS C R I P script C R I C script. Give the ID and the submit button. ID, sorry, ID equals to CBMIT submit. So if a uh, sorry, so if a uh, submit button is clicked and we will execute the function. Let's try with the alert messages here. Refresh the page. Click on the submit button. Okay, now it's working. So the JavaScript uh, is working. So let's extract the uh, extract the value and data from the fields from each fields. So name goes to um, the ID so this one is name and the val function will extract the value var email equals to the name of the ID the, the ID name and the val so it will extract the email and the last one phone to speech phone and val function. So alert again ALE to check whether it's a uh, LE okay, whether it's extracting the value or not. Um, okay. Reload the page. Steven, blah, 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 yeah, Steven, okay, so it's working. So I'm going to do a small, simple JavaScript validation. So if uh, name equals, name equals, uh, if the name is empty or, so here we are not doing the validation for each and every fill, uh, we are using the or operator, so if uh, if anyone the fill is empty then uh, we will 
display the validation message so if name is empty or if email is empty or if phone uh, is empty is also empty so if anyone is empty then uh, we will uh, uh, other something like uh, please check the missing fill so with the page so if I click on something so yeah so if the name is empty if, uh, if one is empty so again the value misses so if uh, everything is uh, if the value is uh, if the value is present in every fill so there is nothing so no validation misses now let's implement this with alert okay I'm going to copy this one oh, sorry uh, I forgot to copy CDN uh, paste it under the JavaScript bootstrap JavaScript okay it's fine okay now I'm going to I'm going to copy this one swallow function and paste it under the uh, if tag a little bit of alignment yeah it's fine and the uh, title equals to fills um, fills empty exclamation exclamation mark in the text is please check the missing i e color page check the missing field okay exclamation mark again in icon so warning so we cannot uh, display the success icon and button it's not OES so it should be okay so refresh the page again form again and if I click on the submit button okay fill empty please check the missing fill so again uh, if everything is okay then if everything is okay if everything is okay then Uh, this one has a successfully submitted. Okay, let's uh, remove this one. Sorry, is your CCE success? Now let's put it like this. Okay, if all fields are present, if all fields contains the data, then uh, okay, successfully submitted. Yes, and the box is gone. So that's it, guys. It's uh, very simple to implement. And inside the else tag, uh, you can use the asx to submit the value.